it's a brand new season. Um, we're excited for the opportunity, um, you know, as of late to be able to uh, build on, you know, yesterday's game and, um, you know, to have some success, um, you know, as of late, I think it's a great opportunity for our team. Um, we know Auburn, you know, has played so well down the stretch as well. Um, it's just going to be a, you know, a rival game in the SEC tourney, and um, we'll have to be ready to go. And, you know, it's about grit and discipline this time of year. And um, those two words will be used frequently within the next 48, to 48 hours on what we need to do to be successful. Questions? Go ahead, Max. Yeah. Do you guys going into the tournament, is there a certain like ground you want to make it? You know, is there what type of goals are you guys setting for the tournament? Uh, win the next game. You know, March is about, um, you know, a brand new season and the opportunity to compete um, and compete for a championship. Um, we always have the preseason, the SEC season, and then your conference tournament is season number three. And it's a great opportunity. You're going to see stories across this country be able to have a special few days and, and we want to make sure that that we take advantage of the opportunity we've been given to do that. Go ahead, Timothy. Um, Coach, obviously y'all swept Auburn this season and obviously it's hard to beat a team three times, but what can you really take from those um, two games that you had against them uh, during the regular season? Well, I think you can take some things, but you also have a recent film, um, you know, and we know that you know, if what we've done in the past looks big to us, um, we hadn't done anything. And so it really doesn't play a factor. Um, what's happened um, is all that, that the future holds for us. I mean, we, we control what happens um, headed into this week. And regardless of the opponent, um, just to, again, to have the grit and the discipline we need to have to be successful. Max. Um, you guys have some experience on the team, actually a lot of it. What type, how are you guys going to use the experience you guys got to, you know, just stay focused? Well, I think we can use the experience, you know, of, of coming to the SEC tournament last year and, you know, first round success there and building on that with Hannah and Meg and then Brittany was on the sideline. Um, so as much experience as we have, we also have, you know, um, some inexperience. Um, Jemiah obviously was with Mississippi State and Jada was in the ACC tournament. So um, we'll try to bring all of our experiences together and, um, you know, just make the most of the opportunity again. It's the next game. That's all that matters is not to look back and not to look ahead, but take care of the moment. Timothy? Um, obviously, in order to make a tournament run, you'll need um, a lot of players to step up. Um, what do you really look forward or maybe like your bench or other players? Yeah, come in and, and be impactful. Um, get a rebound, get a loose ball, set great screens, um, look to finish plays on both sides of the ball. Um, and, you know, with an Auburn team, it's very similar um, to any SEC team. You've got to rebound. You can't give up second chance points, and, and you've got to take care of the ball. Um, easy baskets and easy putbacks. Um, and that's something yesterday that, you know, again, it's very glaring that we have to do a better job against Auburn here in the first round to be successful. Jasmine? Can you hear me? Okay. Um, what are some things that you feel the team needs to work on for the remaining games to end the season on a positive note? Um, just, just um, you know, to continue to work um, like we've been working. You know, things, um, this, this bunch has really been, you have embraced every opportunity, have been playing well. And we just need to build on that. So, you know, to stay consistent with our preparation, um, our practice plan um, tomorrow, you know, we'll have, you know, a practice um, here locally. And then we have 40 minutes on the arena floor. So we really have two day, two experiences tomorrow to, to really get prepared for Auburn. We'll have a film session tonight, uh, the game plan, and then more film tomorrow night. So tomorrow is a really, really, really um you know, it can be a long day, but we feel like we have a great plan in place to make sure that our pace is where it needs to be to have success at one o'clock on Wednesday. Max. Yeah, I think earlier you kind of talked about the challenge of being a team three times in a season. Uh, you've beaten Auburn six times in a row, I think it is. How important is just to avoid complacency to start the tournament? Oh, I don't think there'll be any complacency. You know, this team has a great urgency right now. Um, I honestly, Max, can't even tell you that 
I'd beaten Auburn six times in a row. It's just the next game. It's that next game, next second, next minute, next hour, next play mentality that we've tried to have all year and then I try to have every day. So, you know, again, I think you you um, respect the past, you've learned from it, good or bad, and you just try to get take care of the next moment. So um, it, we have so much respect. Um, you know, Kubali is one of the best players in this league. You know what Precious Johnson has added. Um, they're starting Bostic at the one now. Olivia Scott Grayson is so such a dynamic three-level scorer. I mean, they beat Tennessee, they beat Georgia. So we have our hands full. And regardless of if, if we'd beaten Auburn and they'd beaten us, um, both teams are much improved. And it'll be a brand new test for us on Wednesday. And we have to, again, be disciplined on both sides of the ball. And we just have to a tremendous amount of grit to take care of what we need to to come out and be the aggressor. Thank you, Coach. Thank you guys for being on. Thank you all. Roll Tide.